All right, just wanted to give a fall update on my greening the desert permaculture experience. So, yeah, nice fall day here in November, and yeah, like some of the plants, looks like it's still hanging in there. Rosemary, a lot of weeds. I just did a lot of chop and drops over here. All the amaranth, the wild amaranth, had been chopped and dropped, and then what is that? The weeds over there. Actually, common mallow, another edible weed. Just discovered that have some potted plants, you know, I've run out of rainwater, so I'm just having to slowly I fill up little irrigation things and the Jerusalem artichoke I put into a pot, I cut the stem because it had browned up and then here's some other experiments I'm working on. I'm gonna with a f local farmer I'm gonna try and get a anaerobic biological digester going with some of these drums and see because he has tons of horse manure and he just change that horse manure into biogas and liquid fertilizer so the Chinese chestnuts one with you know they went dormant some time ago or the leaves dried out and then this one had uh, alfalfa with it and then you can see some of the over those guys there's little goji berries that I was trying to do and another little amaranth in that one the carrots are actually quite large they're you know, we're actually feeding a lot of wasps and bees earlier on, and then another wild carrot, the, uh, what is it, the daikon radish, you know, I actually cut it back because it died back, you know, just with the colder temperatures, the corns are all cut, oh, and that's my extra dirt pile that I've just been pulling from, and I just keep putting stuff onto it, and as you can see, lots of chopped wild amaranth, and I just chopped and dropped it, and there's the ant pile, ant colony right in the middle and then yeah just walking along continuing yeah there's the I can't remember what the ground cover ice plant I believe it is we'll see if it makes it through it doesn't like really cold temperatures so hopefully it's close enough to a thermal reservoir you know the house or these tiles you know but it is in the shade on the northern side so we'll see if it makes it yeah another wild edible weed a lot of London rocket or mustard rocket, I think it's called. And then, yeah, the little start of the apricot tree over here. Yeah, hopefully he makes it through the winter. And then, yeah, the wild amaranth, you can see just the difference. You know, those guys were so small, and these guys had compost all around in that area. And I was kind of using them to block the shade, to shade out the, the tree, so that this little seedling apricot, you know, had plenty of shade and it didn't get roasted but yeah the wild amaranth loved the compost that I put into that little tree well and probably in the next season I'm actually gonna widen that tree well out and so that it's a sunken bed so that it actually collects a lot more water and that will actually help with the additional runoff during the heavier rains you know when we got three inches of rain during the summer monsoon you know this entire area you know just flooded and even that sunken bed that I kind of put over there that flooded too and I mean there was you know still six inches of water in some places so yeah I'm gonna try and drop this area down a little bit more to make a a larger water catchment and see how that works you know the great plants are hibernation you know and then I have a lot of this wheat you know that I got from the straw that came from it and I was using that as ground cover and now you can see quite a bit of it. The pear tree is losing all its leaves, dropping them right onto the ground, which is cool. And I just want to mention that I actually spoke with the neighbors, and yeah, you know, everyone thinks that their yard waste is waste, you know, but I loaded up both of my compost bins, you know, and took out some of the compost, put it into little pots. And yeah, the neighbor actually brought me about 20 bags of leaves. I'm sure that'll really compress down to almost nothing, but it was very nice of them, you know. And Hopefully if all goes well, I'll give them some compost tea or a plant or something, you know, and say, hey, this is what your compost made, and just continue the, the changing the mental cycle, saying like, hey, that was actually good stuff. Yeah, my rain barrel system has been empty for some time. I was worried about the October early frost, so I drained it all off, and so, yeah, I've been no water in the rain barrel system. I might experiment with, like, how made it'll freeze, but so far we've only had one mild frost, you know, a couple mild frosts, like this morning there was mild frost and everything, but yeah, no hard freezes yet. 
see uh, right here, there, and there were Jerusalem artichokes, but I cut them. They had been pushed over by the wind and they kind of broke their stems and so I collected as many seeds as I can and I'm just leaving the, the tubers in the ground for collection later. Yeah, nice little patch of wild grass weeds. Gonna try and start some mint over in that area. Got some volunteer mimosa trees and I'm just gonna trim them back here soon. You know, because they're good nitrogen fixers, but I'm just gonna keep them small you know, kind of small bush level things, you know, and just kind of allow them to slowly mulch the ground area. Uh, this little Chinese chestnut, they always have such a hard time here in the desert getting started and established, so... Yeah, the central main leader stem died off, and then these two guys kept going, so... I'm gonna try and experiment, and probably I'm gonna cut these two runners and cut this and see if I can't get another main leader to start. Yeah, and I don't know if that's going to work, because, you know, when I did it with this guy, I wasn't here for it, and so he did three years of his own just wild growth just everywhere, and that's why it kind of looks like he's crowned out into this giant ground bush. Yeah. Learning experience, and then the other rain barrel system over there, empty as well for over a month now. Right, best of luck on your permaculture projects. Thanks for watching.